Hi there, I'm Saurav Kundu from WPExplorer.com. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to recover your WordPress administrator password using phpMyAdmin. Before we begin, I'd like to mention the setup we'll be using for our tutorial. The operating system is Windows 7 and WordPress is installed in localhost using WAMP. The WAMP server is up and running as shown by this green status icon over here. If you would like to learn how to install WordPress in your PC or Mac or Linux computer, we have a tutorial for each of them in our post series section. Do have a look. So let's get started. To launch phpMyAdmin, we left click on the WAMP icon over here and select phpMyAdmin. Now we select the database that was used during the WordPress installation, which in our tutorial is wp underscore genesis. Okay, so this right here is the database of our WordPress installation. As you can see, it contains the entire site's data, the number of posts, users, comments, settings, and so on. However, the WordPress database does not contain the user's uploaded data, such as images or PDFs. They are stored separately in the WP content folder. Now we select the table entry that holds the record of all the users which would be wp underscore users. Before we proceed any further, there is one thing I'd like to discuss here. During the WordPress installation, there is an option which lets you assign a custom prefix to all the table entries. Its default value is wp underscore. However, critics argue that it is a good practice to use a different prefix for better security. Suppose in an unfortunate event your database gets hacked and the malware used to steal your data was coded to search for table entries beginning with wp underscore. If you had used a different prefix, then the chances of your data being compromised slightly reduces. So if your prefix was something other than wp underscore, then the table entries would look something like this. Back to the point, we select the wp underscore users table over here. We want to change the password for the user entitled admin. So we select the edit option over here. As you can see, the value of the user pass field is a combination of alphanumeric and special characters. This is the MD5 value of the password. Now you have two options. You can either reset the password or you can decrypt the MD5 code and recover the password. I'll leave the decryption bit to you. To reset the password, you select the MD5 option under the functions table and you enter the password as you desire under the value field. Let's say we enter WP Explorer. Okay, so to save the changes, simply click on go. This should reset the password to WP Explorer for the username admin. Let us see if this actually did work. We open our WordPress login page and we enter the new password that is WP Explorer. Let's see if this works. And voila! You have successfully reset your WordPress password using phpMyAdmin. We hope that you have enjoyed and benefited from this tutorial and would love to hear your thoughts. You could also follow us on Twitter or Facebook to stay updated with our many offers and giveaways. I'm Saurav Kundu reporting for WPExplorer.com. Have a good day.